This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo N22 Chromebook with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo N22 Chromebook. Uh, before we start, I need to take care of a couple of things. First, I want to make sure the laptop is off. Uh, for Chromebooks, this is really simple. If the screen is dark, the laptop is off. And if you open and close it, the laptop sometimes automatically turns on. Just do a long press of the power button and the laptop will turn off. Second thing is to identify the model number. So this is the N22. In this case, it's really easy. N22 here and also on the back, on the label, it says and 22 on the top line also. Okay, next, let's go over the tools we're gonna use. We have a, we have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end. That's to remove the screw covers and lift up adhesive tape. We have a metal spudger tool, tool and that's used to pry things open. We have a pair of metal tweezers that's used as a prying tool to manipulate cables or to remove any screws that may be stuck. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. And finally, we have a smaller PH00 electronic screwdriver and that's for the smaller screws. Okay, first order of business for this laptop is to remove the bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And it's secured by, in this case, eight screws and each screw has a screw cover. So first thing we need to do is use our hobby knife to remove the eight screw covers and being careful not to damage the screw cover, we lift it up and then put it beside the opening and that way we don't lose it and it's accessible when we put it back on again. So one, two, this, this is rather unusual to have eight screws securing the bezel, but for Chromebooks, I guess that's prudent because of the use that they get. So that's five, and just take your time on this. Okay, actually, if you look on this one, there's no screw behind there, so we keep the screw cover on. So I'm guessing there's no screw behind here. And let's lift up the sixth one. So, so right now we have six screws that we need to remove. So let's remove the screws one by one. And when we do this, let's have the, we need to have the screen assembly tilt it back a little bit. And that way it's easier to work on. That's three. And for each step, for each set of screws, we keep the screws in a separate pile. And that way we can keep track of which screws go where when we put the laptop back together again. So once we remove the six screws, we can snap the screen bezel off. For this part, we need to put our fingertips our fingernails on the screen side and make sure we can get a good grip and gently start lifting up and lifting out until and we, when we hear snapping sounds. That means the screen bezel is snapping off the screen assembly. And in this way we go around the screen assembly. As you can see the camera assembly is a separate part so we don't touch that. And on the bottom, there is some adhesive. So we gently remove the bottom and the adhesive, making sure not to damage anything. And we keep going, and this way we can remove the bezel from the screen assembly and put it on the side. Once we do that, we have the screen and then we need to remove the screen from the screen assembly.
do this, we remove the two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. When we do this, we want to have the screen tilted back again, and that's to make sure that the screen doesn't fall forward from the screen assembly. So we have one, two, and this one, we need, the screw need a little bit extra torque until we caught it. Three, and then four. Okay, once we do that, we can gently remove the screen from the screen assembly. You can grab by the tabs and then lower the screen. When you lower it, make sure we don't touch the power button so that the laptop doesn't turn on during the procedure. And then next, what we need to do is remove the connector. So to do this, there's some adhesive tape. We use our hobby knife or our X-Acto knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape. And then we peel the adhesive tape back. And then we grab the connector by the back and then slide it out like so. I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. When we reconnect it, we slide the connector in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And this is what a properly connected connector looks like. Pause the video right here and make sure the two sides of the connection are flush with each other and there's not a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connector. Okay, so we'll remove the connector again. And let's take a look at this screen. It's a 11.6 inch EDP screen. Uh, this is the most common type of screen that goes into the Chromebooks and this one has a matte finish and most of these screens do have a matte finish. So it has a 30 pin connector and the mounting brackets are on the sides. The part number for this particular screen is NT116WHM-N21. Now this is not a, the most common part number but there are other part numbers that are compatible. The most the most common part number for this screen is N116BGE-EA2. So if you do get a N116BGE-EA2, the two screens will be compatible with each other. Okay, you can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is this exact same toolkit. Um, it comes for free with every screen that we sell all these five pieces and also we have a two-year warranty on our screens we offer free email technical support and it's free priority mail, mail shipping in the United States also if you're with a school district uh, we work with school districts around the country and around the world and we offer extra technical support and volume discounts for school districts and ability and we do accept purchase orders. So if you're with a school district, there's a schools link at the top of our website at www.screensurgeons.com. Just click the schools link and then there'll be a form for you to, for you to fill out. Otherwise, uh, to order the screen, just go to the, our website and then there will be a short form for you to fill out that will help us identify the screen. And then you can go to the right page and order the screen online. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just select your country during the checkout procedure and then we'll ship to your country. Okay, once you do get your screen in, make sure it looks like the original screen and that the mounting brackets are in the same place and the connector is in the same size. Once you confirm that, you can connect the screen with a connector over here like I showed you, mount the screen on the back of the screen assembly, put two screws in the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on and put the six screws in then, and then put the screw covers in. And that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.